What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. <laughs> this is my quote-unquote car right now that I'll be driving in today's video. This is a go-kart everyone. So basically, I've uh, <laughs> I've looked at all of the cars in this game when the game came out pretty much. So I went into every single brand and everything and I just wanted to see what sort of cars or vehicles were in the game that I could play with. And for some reason, I completely skipped over this. I don't understand why. I don't know why I did it. But uh, yeah, we have a we have a cart in the game, and I'm so excited to race this thing. Basically, one of the uh, one of the the boys, one of the the group chat boys, decided to to tell me. You guys should have seen him in some of my previous videos, especially on Forza, because he does a lot of rivals. Uh, so vexed. Um, he's uh, he's basically in that group chat, and he said, uh, "Yeah, I should check this out." So that's what I'm doing. I'm checking this thing out. It's f ridiculous, man. It's so funny looking and main and most importantly i want to take this thing out on the nurburgring and try to do a lap with it this is going to be very very questionable i checked to see what sort of uh mods we could do to this thing let me get let, let me like skip forward a little bit none you can't do anything you cannot do anything the only thing you, you can possibly do is if i go over to the i can get a hydraulic handbrake and the ballast which is here and then power restrictor that's it that's all you can do to this thing there's nothing else you can actually change on it. Even when you go into the, the GT Auto Shop, you can change the color of it, I guess, and the livery and all that, but you cannot change the paint. Uh, oh, sorry, not the paint, sorry. You can't change the wheels at all. There's no other custom parts. There's, there's literally nothing that you can change on this thing, which is a little bit disappointing because it'd be funny to put a big massive wing on this thing. <laughs> anyway, so I've uh, I've tried to mess around with this thing a little bit. And I thought to myself, would I just leave it alone until I record the video so I can give you guys my initial reactions. I'm going to go on one of the smallest tracks in the game, which is this. And it has a lot of corners. And I want to see what sort of time I can put down with this thing. So this is stuck on... I'll show you guys now. I'm pretty sure it's up. Oh, sports soft tires. So car settings. So sports soft tires at the moment. Uh, I can't adjust it. The only thing actually... Sorry, I was going to say you can't adjust anything. You can't adjust the power output. Don't really see a reason why you would. <laughs> It makes 49 horsepower, uh, but you can also adjust the top speed of this thing, which I probably would end have to end up changing. 220 is max, by the looks of things. But I'll probably uh, is it? No, because I could probably stretch my final drive quite a lot. Um, but I think this will probably be really, really useful for when I actually race on an Nurburgring. I think now on Scuba is probably going to be just fine. So let's just do a lap with it and see what sort of time I can get with this thing. Look at it; it's so jokes. It is absolutely jokes. Uh, what is my controller sensitivity set to? It's at, ooh, it's at minus two. Let's bring that up. I'll bring it to zero. Oh man, this thing is, is funny. It's really quick. Oh! <laughs> okay, well, just like in real life, if I slam on the brakes fully and I turn into the corner very sharply. This thing definitely wants to slide. Oh man. It feels strange driving it from like this perspective, which I'm probably gonna change in the next lap. I'm just gonna do one lap like this. Just to see. I also I really dislike that bar that tells you when to change gears and stuff like that. I wish it was just like a regular, you know, heads up display or stuff that looks like this pretty much that you have the dials. I much prefer that. So whatever that is at the bottom of my screen, because I can't see where, like, I can't see the RPM. Especially on a brand new car that you've never driven before, like, I, I need to see that. And this is, I'm pretty sure, a thing that came out in, like, GT Sport. That is really fast. I put, oh, <laughs> there's no driver. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Oh my god, okay, I'm re retrying that. Let's do a fast lap. I'm gonna try to do it in this perspective though, because I think I can I can actually do a bit of damage here. Like this. I need to be careful with my braking and my acceleration out of corners as well. Changes gears very, very quickly, which is great. This thing is rapid. What? I should have slowed down a little bit more there, but that's fine. 
I caught up to myself. Okay, fourth gear was probably better for that. <gasps> okay. Man, I haven't been on a go kart in so many years. Like in real life, I mean. I feel like I'd be such a better driver now. To be completely honest, the last time when I did go, I kind of, I shouldn't have done it. But I did. I. It's a good thing I didn't get like a. <laughs> I didn't get kicked off. But I kept trying to go sideways in it. <laughs> I kept going too fast at the corners and tried to go sideways. I did a sub one minute. <laughs> I'll take that. I don't care. I don't care. Peace out, boys. See you later. What? The thing is, it's it just stays so flat, and you can keep your speed up with it. That's the best part about this thing. Because it's super, super light. That is so jokes. That is way too funny. Look at the little slide and everything. And I probably could have done better as well, because there was... I think right at this corner I messed up a little bit. I went a little too wide here. Should have slowed down a tiny bit more. My driving line wasn't the best there. And that's where my ghost caught up with me. Here as well, I could have short shifted into. Well, not short shifted, but I could have shifted into fourth or a little earlier. I could have done a little better here, but this thing pulling a sub one minute so easily. That was so good. No way. It's a fast thing. It's fast. It is genuinely fast. <laughs> But yeah, I miss trying to slide on the, on one of these things in real life because it's just way too fun to to not do it. I beat the Golf GTI as well. My God, barely, but I did beat it. All right, I'm gonna take this thing around the <laughs> I'm gonna take this thing around the ring. The one thing that I've done with the GTI as well is what I said. <laughs> it's just funny because it's tiny, you know. That's what makes it hilarious to drive. And the GTI as well was the, was this, like just similar because I used to just drive that thing around like really short tracks and I was like, you know what, let's take it around the Nürburgring, which is a massive track and see how good it is just because it has really good tires and suspension. Uh, see how fast it actually is. I did a 735 with it. Uh, I think this car for most of this, uh, see, not most of the track, I'd say, I'd say a lot of it though. Uh, I think it'd be good. The only problem with it is that I don't have the top speed, which is what I was going to say. Uh, I need to change this a lot. I don't know if 220 is enough. I can stretch my gears out even more. I don't know what my top speed is now. It'll probably be higher than 220. Um, but I do need it. I do need it because I think this thing just caps out its speed very, very quickly. And there's a lot of straights on this track. So I'm going to be driving around like this for a bit. Obviously, you guys will see the replay. And then this perspective at the bottom corner of my screen. Which I'm happy that you guys are enjoying that, that sort of view that I'm doing for the videos, which you guys are seeing right now, pretty much. Where you can see pretty much both the replay, which looks great, and you can see pretty much the way I'm driving in sort of like first person, so. I kind of like that. Because I like driving in the first person view. Some people said, or one person said, I think, um, that I prefer this view to the, the whole replay view, but I, I disagree. Oh my god, okay. Oh! <laughs> Do not hit the curbs in this thing. That was mad. I saw my entire fake life flash before my eyes. So avoid curbs at all costs. Well, curbs are like super steep. Yeah, this is where this thing is struggling right now. Trying to stay at high speeds. Trying to stay at high speeds, this thing is struggling bad. It's super twitchy to controls on it. I probably should go into controller settings and do minus two for that. Because it's really, really, really twitchy. And I don't want it to be. I want it to sort of drive a little bit better. This thing is crazy. So fourth gear is not even for this corner here. I can stay flat out here. It's for this. So I'm going to slam on the brakes. 
it slows down so fast. It just has no weight to it at all. I really do wonder what sort of time I can put down with this thing. See, this is this is kind of where it's going to struggle, but there are bits of this track. After the carousel especially, I think this thing will be brilliant. Because you just get to keep your speed up with it. And you can take corners incredibly quickly. So I don't really, don't really have to slow down too much then for those corners. I just sort of stay flat out for a lot of them. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take this thing actually around the carousel. The, the inner part of it. I don't think it's possible. That road is so incredibly uneven. And there's so many bumps there that it's just... I, I don't think this will be able to handle it. I think I'll be able to smash it off the ground. And it'll, it'll spin out or flip. I'm still not used to driving this thing. I'm like slowing down, I think, a lot more than, than what I need to for some of the corners. Oh man. Has anybody ever done this before? Has anybody ever taken a, a go kart around the Nurburgring? The Nordschleife? Oh god, hitting the curves is bad! Because obviously when you do it in a regular car, you know, you kiss the curb, you go a little bit on it, it's fine. You try to use as much of the track as possible, you know, but... With this thing, you have to avoid it, it's just... This is not possible, you... You flip this thing, you literally flip this car. Also, I'm driving it with, with no assist. There's no trash control or anything like that on. The only thing I have on, I think, is ABS, and that's it. ABS is always on. On controller, anyway, I like to play with ABS. If I was playing on a wheel, I'd, I'd, take, I'd get rid of it. I mean, we're at about four minutes. And I've hit this part of the track, which is now mostly straight lines. Um... That's really not bad at all. If I could pull an 8 minute run with this thing, that would be unbelievable. Because technically I am around halfway through this track. And the next part, like I said, after the carousel, is all corners. So I feel like I'm going to make a lot of time back there. Compared to some of the cars that I've driven before. Some of the cars that I've driven before, they do have a lot of grip, but they also have a lot of weight. So I do have to slow down quite a bit for some of the corners there. Whereas this thing, since it's literally weightless... I'm just going to fly into corners. I just don't really have to slow down too much. Usually a part of the track where it's... Where it's usually like third, fourth gear type of corners. Alright, a little 360 for the boys. Let's go, keep going. <laughs> oh, kissing that curve though. Okay, let's go on the inside. Let's try it anyway. Uh, okay, no, I did alright, okay. I was very careful with my steering and my throttle there. <laughs> very careful. And this is the part of the track where I think I'm gonna be able to keep my speed up the entire time. I'm gonna go fifth. I'm gonna stay fifth for a lot of it. So fifth and fourth for this thing is what matters. But I'm going around corners doing 100 miles an hour. I think that is sick. So bouncy. So, so bouncy. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it around these corners. I knew it was going to be fun. Little slidey action there. Oh, a little too fast. Oh, no, the curb again. The recovery with this thing is unbelievable, though. <laughs> it's just them I'm, I'm trick shotting the Nordschleife. <laughs> I'm literally trick shotting this track right now. Two 360s on it. 
The straight's gonna be a struggle, I think. I wish you could put an os with this oh, on this thing. I think it'd be so funny. Yeah, I'm. I think I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be struggling. Oh, don't spin up, please. Thank you. Okay, mini carousel taking like a champ. Yeah, I think it'll be more than a minute before I finish. So I think it's gonna be a little over, a little over eight minutes. I think. This is. It's definitely gonna take me quite a while now to go through this entire straight here. But this thing is mental. It's so fast, and I knew this was gonna be fun taking around an Urbergring. Seriously, like I, it generally, it I thought it was gonna be fun to take around the ring. There's no extra gears. There's nothing. I'm stuck at 100. 13, 114 miles per hour. With it, there's no arrow that I can change or anything like that. I mean, it's it's making its way down. It's not particularly uh, it's not particularly struggling. It's slowing down now, going uphill slightly. But for something with 49 horsepower, that is absolutely tiny like this. Would eight minutes be possible though? That is the question here. Um, I think I can definitely squeeze out at least another like five seconds pretty easily out of this this run because obviously sp I spun out a couple of times. Actually, more than that. I'll say about ten seconds. I'll say about ten seconds I can squeeze out of this this time because again, a couple of times spinning out, hitting the curb as well. So if you want to do a good time, so eight nineteen is pretty much what I got. It's, it's a ridiculous thing. It is genuinely a ridiculous car. It's not a car. It's a go-kart. <laughs> but yeah, you can see the, the times as well for each sector there. Okay. Well, that was insanely fun. Um, this is probably the best 10k I've spent in this game so far. It seriously is. It doesn't cost much at all. If you go, if you want to buy this thing yourselves, by the way. Uh, go to Brand Central and then just go over to the Asia Pacific and all the way to Gran Turismo. And you have it here. Uh, again, I've checked all these before and for whatever reason I didn't realize that these were in the game. But here it is. It's so fun to drive. Seriously, get it yourselves. Try it out. It is super, super fun to drive. But I guess that's pretty much it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, subscribe, like, comment, share, do whatever it is you guys want to do. But that's it from me. Again, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.